Hello, welcome back. In the last couple of videos, we are discussing about parameterization in virtual user generator script. Okay, and parameters are some kind of special variable. Okay, so essentially what we did, instead of programmatically having a variable, with a couple of click, we created a variable. In this video, so let's try to to, to, to manipulate parameters programmatically. All right. So basically, there are two kinds of things. So one is your C stack variable, like the way you declare int i or char star abc are the C variable. And also at the same time, we also have something like a parameter where we are just basically giving just a name with a quote. Okay. And let's say this is prm1. So essentially both of them, you know, this ABC pointer to character is going to store a string as well as this PRM1 is going to store a string. So let's create a new script and the script name is manipulating parameters and let's go to the action. At this time I don't have anything there. Alright. And, and if I want to declare a string variable and store something there, so this is what I'm going to do, cat star and then uh, say the string name is continents. Okay, and then let's say I want to store Africa there. Okay, so this is, this is how I store and then so to print I probably do LR output message and it's a continents. So let's see what we are getting here. So, so that's the script run and the output is Africa. This is what we expected, right? So what I'm going to show you now is that without doing all this thing, okay without declaring a variable and all those things what i could do i could i could put this value africa to a load runner parameter and to do that what i need to do i just need to do some kind of statement like this so this is a load runner fun provided function which is called lr save string so what i did i created a parameter or a special kind of variable and the name of that variable is prm continent and I put Africa to there. So the effect of this line and this line are same. What we are essentially doing here we are storing Africa directly in continents. Here through a load runner parameter which is named called prm continent we are storing africa and actually load runner through this function is going to do all those low level plumbing to create a pointer character and point to this string africa okay and what essentially load runner gives you load runner gives you the ability to simplify your life that you don't really need to get into the business of pointer and allocating memory and so on. Just by this line of code, load runner created a variable called PRM continent. And note, notice that even I do not have to declare, like C, you have to first declare, right? So this is where we declare, right? And then we assign. So in fact, in this statement, we declare and assign at the same time. But normally what you do, we declare a variable and then we assign it. But notice here we don't have to declare anything. Okay. However, when this thing is going to run and compile, the load runner is going to generate code so that a character pointer is to be created and this value will be stored. Okay. So that is the benefit of the, of the parameter that it hides the complexity. To create a parameter, you use lr underscore save underscore string and you give what string to be saved and the name of the parameter parameter okay there is somewhere you know you know let's say this is the abc that is somewhere abc is stored and how do i get the value to get the value you, you will use another function called lr eval string and in LR eval string, you give the parameter name within that curly braces that we give. Okay, so this LR eval string is going to find out what is the value stored in that 
in, in that parameter okay and this is essentially going to give you back a b c so to do this so this is the code that i do lr output message what i'm going to output i'm going to output the result of this lr eval string okay similarly and if you if you run this thing you're going to give also africa so that means whatever you are achieving by these two lines the same thing can be achieved by these two lines and these two lines is preferable because these two lines hiding a lot of complexity for you so this is how you create a load runner parameter or vu gen parameter so the next question is can i store an int okay and how to store an integer to store an integer there is another function called lr underscore save underscore int so what you can do you can do lr underscore save underscore int then what is the integer value let's say 10 and i want to store to a parameter that name is say x y g so now the difference between lr save string and lr save int that in the end we have storing a integer type variable okay however there is nothing called lr eval int you will get the, the the value of this parameter by this function lr eval string so if you give lr underscore eval underscore string x y g within the bracket you are going to get a string representation of this integer then let's say you want to add one to this value so how do you do there is a function called a to i so this is a c function a to i if you give a string it will give if that string is an integer then it will give the integer value whatever i get here i just do a to i okay so if i get a to i plus one then the result of all the expression the, the result of this expression will be 11 so, so this is how you do operations on parameters so let's show a demo right now this is the code and let me just go through the code quickly so here in this line i save integer to this parameter called prm cnt prm count and then i show what is the output of that uh, that, that parameter and this is going to show me the output and notice that i give here percentage s because lr eval string is going to give me a string is not at integer to make it an integer i'm going to call a to i function and i'm going to pass the value of this of the string so and then i will add plus one and what i have to done i should have done int i so so if you run this code then after this if i print the value of i i will get 11 okay so notice how you do an operation on the parameter 